Hey Cancer, it's me Sagittarius Soltero. I want to do your guys' April 2021 reading in regards to love and um, everything like that, your energy for April, what's going on. Okay, so watch for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or cross watch for Cancer. Okay, so just take what resonates. Guys, don't get too much into this. Okay, I know my hands look really bad. Um, I colored eggs with my son today for Easter, so they're kind of all nasty and should have wore gloves, but you know, I'm here, so... <laughs> Go ahead and let me know down below if you guys like the reading. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start with a Sea Salt Energy Oracle for Cancer and see what's going on April 2021. Okay, time is fluid. Take what resonates when it does, okay? Okay, we have Tsunami. So now is the time to confront your stressors. What are you avoiding? Could be a lot of things like conflict or people you guys are avoiding. And it's like you just need to rip it off like a band-aid and deal with it is what I'm seeing. Okay, on the bottom, calm before the storm. Something big is coming, you're approaching the climax. Okay, so there could be something big happening, some kind of transition in your life, something you didn't expect to happen. Okay, but I feel like a lot of things are coming real quick. So just take what resonates, guys. But you got the tsunami card here. Okay, I'm going to do the soul's journey deck and see what, like where your energy is kind of at, like how you feel internally for April. Okay, Cancer. Okay, so yeah, I feel like here you got peace in reverse, okay, and guilt. So I feel like you're kind of not at peace with yourself because of situations that you maybe you've been avoiding, like I said here. You've been avoiding a lot of maybe situations, running from your fears, running away instead of, you know, facing things head on. Like you're just running away and not dealing with it. Okay, and I feel like it's going to come back and haunt you in April. I feel like things that you were avoiding you know, kind of covering things up, kind of not wanting to deal with and walk away. It's like things are starting to come back around, okay? Kind of like when you pop a pimple and you just kind of cover it up with concealer or with makeup and you're like, oh, it's fine, I'm not going to see it. And then you wash your makeup off and it's still there, okay? So it's like you guys need to just deal with it. You have a lot of guilt and stuff for a situation that you haven't resolved with somebody. Maybe a conversation that needs to be said. Because adversity here in the reverse, you're not wanting to deal with challenges. Like I said, this is definitely all running together, but... I feel like you guys aren't wanting to deal with challenges. You're just running away from your fears, your problems, and it's like it's going to bite you in the ass, I feel like, okay? I'm not trying to be mean, but I feel like, you know, you guys are going to have to just face things head on, okay? So let's go ahead and see what is going on for you guys in April. What else do you guys need to know? Get the Psychic Tarot Oracle here. Okay, yeah, transformations. You guys are definitely going through some changes here. Okay, a lot of things you have to experience, a lot of things that are being changed around in your life. Okay, with uh, fulfillment of wishes in the reverse. Could feel unhappy like things aren't going the way you want them to. You don't understand why things are, the rhyme and reason why things are happening. Okay, so maybe instead of, you know, telling people you're upset, you're just kind of running from things or hiding, you know. Let's go ahead and see kind of love advice, what's going on for Cancers and Love here in April. Okay, so getting to know each other. Okay, worth waiting for. Separation in the reverse. As well as make the effort. Okay, so there could be somebody you need to make more effort for. Someone you've been waiting for. And you guys are getting to know each other. Or need to know each other a little bit better. Okay. Maybe you guys are going to be communicating with somebody more here. Someone that you didn't want to be separated from as well. Okay, you guys could have been separated from this person here. Let's go ahead and see what things people want to say to you. Three cards for what you might get from people in April. Like what kind of conversation. Like what they could say to you. Be a past person, a present person. Take what resonates. Okay, so someone kind of wants to let you know that you're like a last option. Okay, but somebody else had this too. So I think Gemini did. So it could be like a Gemini cusp of a cancer or something. But somebody kind of put you like last place or last resort. Or they're seeing other people. Okay, and then we also have our love is like a fairy tale. So somebody really has a strong connection, really love you. Okay, but maybe they felt like there was baby mama drama or you guys had issues that you were dealing with. That's kind of like why maybe they felt like they were your last resort. Okay, so it could be one or the other. It could be like you guys have kids and you guys, you made this person feel like they were, you know, could be the roles reverse. Maybe you felt like this person felt like they loved you and wanted to be with you, but you made them feel like an option and they weren't d deserving. We also have manipulator on the bottom, so you could have been dealing with a manipulator. 
Okay, so I'm going to get out of another deck here I made. Let's go ahead and get three cards for like quotes or movies or song lyrics. I'm just going to pick random ones. See if they resonate, guys. Let me know. All right, so we have my best friend's wedding. So choose me, marry me, let me make you happy. Okay, so somebody could be wanting you to choose them. They want to be your option, okay? I also have true love stories never have endings. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we have here, the pessimist sees difficulty in every opportunity. The optimist sees opportunity in every difficulty. So there could be something, maybe even kind of pessimistic about a situation, seeing like, Kind of like the glass is half empty instead of half full. Okay, so there's a situation you didn't really see. You see a lot of difficulty in an opportunity, but you didn't really see the opportunity and the difficulty. Okay, so take what resonates. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get out of another deck here. I am gonna get the rebel deck here. Okay, it's a rebel deck. It has kind of cuss words, but I'm not gonna say the cuss words. So. Just kind of to see what's going on. Let's just get like a good straight up advice card here for cancer. Okay, we have two here. So we have stop obsessing, okay? So you're not the center of the universe. So stop obsessing over something you can't control. As well as you need some yoga in your life, okay? So maybe they feel like you, you also need to focus on your health too, maybe as well. Focus on stretching, taking better care of your body, okay? go ahead and do what signs you could be dealing with this coming month in April Scorp or cancer why did I say Scorpio Gemini okay Aquarius Libra Ooh, a lot of air we got water on the bottom they could have this in their moon signs they could have a like a um, Aquarius or Gemini or Libra moon so take what resonates okay so I'm gonna go ahead and see what was in the past for cancer and love Okay, so this could be anywhere from the past, from like yesterday or last month, last year. Just take what resonates. Okay, the first one was the Seven of Swords. So I'm going to do another shuffle, but a lot of deception, a lot of feeling deceived by somebody. Okay, with the Knight of Wands reverse and the Page of Pentacles reverse. On the bottom, you got the Queen of Wands reverse. Somebody that you maybe just aren't really passionate about anymore. There was a lot of deception, a lot of somebody just being, they weren't really honest with their words. They weren't really coming in to offer you anything stable. There's no security with this person, okay? You always felt like you're fighting against them. Could have been an earth sign, fire, or air here. But this person could have been younger. They could have been acting very immature. All right, let's do the seven of swords here. Okay, we got the Eight of Pentacles in reverse in the world. So I feel like you didn't really want to put much time and effort into something anymore. And you kind of wanted to close out a cycle with somebody in the past. Just because you just didn't feel like you could trust them. You felt like they were deceiving you. They were lying. They weren't honest. Okay, with the Temperance reverse. Could have been a Sagittarius. Or just the fact they got you all in your feelings unbalanced. You weren't like fully connected with yourself. You are just all over the place. Okay? Let's do the Knight of Wands reverse. <laughs> All right, Knight of Wands reversed. We got the Nine of Wands reversed, Eight of Wands. I feel like you have had a lot of communication or saw this person a lot. Okay, but maybe things were kind of, it was more kind of like a sex-based thing or something, but you guys kind of talked a lot. You guys seen each other a lot, a lot of communication. There was somebody here in the past you felt like you could open up to, that you could trust and have communication with. Okay, the Six of Swords reversed. I feel like you didn't want to walk away from something. And I feel like with the Eight of Pentacles reverse and the cycle card, the world card, you guys closed off a cycle in the past with somebody. Maybe there's somebody else in the past new coming in. Okay, the Page of Pentacles reverse, though. Let's see. A little bit gum on me, babe. With the Page of Pentacles reverse again and the Judgment, Nine of Cups reverse. So there's, all, there's a person here that you kind of wanted, you kind of had to put a judgment call on whether or not this was kind of meant to be, if it was going to be long term, if it was going to be anything stable. Okay, or if there's going to be anything kind of point, rhyme, or reason to this. Okay, because maybe in the past you were very unfulfilled, very unhappy with love at this point. So you're kind of, either you or this person was kind of wondering whether or not you should offer love, okay? If you should give to this, if this is, if this is worth investing into, or if this is just kind of, you know, for fun. Okay, with the judgment card, could be doing the Scorpio. Let's go ahead and see currently what's going on with you guys, Cancer. What is going on in love for you guys?
Okay, what is currently going on for Cancer in love? What, the gum? Yeah. Just don't get it out of the house, okay? What is currently going on for Cancer? Okay, Seven of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the Tower Reversed. Could have been dealing with a Taurus, Earth sign, or a Scorpio, but there's a sense of wanting to build a foundation with somebody, or you feel like there is a foundation kind of being built with somebody, like whether it be financially with this person or just something that you put your time and kind of energy into, something that you feel is an investment, something that has grown and kind of blossomed, okay? But there's a sense of feeling as if you're left out. Okay, maybe you want a commitment with this person. You feel like they're ignoring you, ghosting you. You feel ignored. Okay, but you're trying not to have any, you know, you're trying to avoid any disasters, though, with this person. You don't want to have any disasters, so maybe you haven't been reaching out. Okay? And I feel like maybe you wanted commitment or you were committed to this person at one point. Okay, you feel like there was a lot invested into this. Okay, it could have been seven months, seven years. Or five, come in five months, five years, something of that nature here. So let's go ahead and get the Seven of Pentacles for Cancer currently. Okay, the King of Pentacles reversed and the Star. The Five of Cups reversed, the bottom. So I feel like this is a person that you definitely were manifesting, you were having like hopes for. Okay, but you feel like right now things aren't really stable or you're not feeling, you know, financially set with this person. You don't feel like you're where you want to be, you're not comfortable, you're not secure. But there's a lot of hoping, I feel like. I feel like you're hoping for things currently to get better. But the Five of Pentacles, maybe you guys are kind of at a break from each other or you guys aren't really around each other much. With the Temperance Reverse, could be a Sagittarius and the Ten of Wands Reverse. I feel like you're really like upset, emotionally upset about this person. You want to let this go and not be stressed or carrying on this weight or this, you know, guilt. I feel like you're carrying on like guilt here. Okay, I feel like right now you're kind of not putting much into it. You're kind of at like a stalemate with this person. I feel like you're emotionally kind of all over the place and you're not wanting to put any more, you know, thoughts into this. You don't want to be dragged around. You don't want to be tired and exhausted. But I feel like you definitely are, you know, upset about this. How Whatever's going on with you and this person. Okay, let's get the hair fit here. Okay, King of Wands reverse and the Two of Cups reverse, Five of Wands. You feel like this situation, this, okay, I feel like this connection definitely, it was like a soulmate connection or someone you definitely were connected to, okay, but you feel like things, maybe you feel as if this person's not into you anymore, you don't feel like there's much passion anymore, or things are very just like stuck with you guys, there's not much, you know, drive or motivation to make this work, maybe there's a lot of conflict, there's a lot of people in the way of this connection, but on the bottom I do have the Knight of Cups and the Page of Wands and the Chariot. So I have a lot of good cards underneath here, but I feel like right now you guys are at this point where you're not really sure where you stand with this person. There's definitely a soulmate disconnect or just a feeling of you guys not feeling the same as you guys once did. Okay, and I feel like you are very sad about that because we had the temperance in reverse and the five of pentacles. Okay, let's see what's in the near future for cancer and love here. This could be anywhere from like, you know, tomorrow, next week, next year. So just take what resonates. Okay. One more shuffle after this. Get one more shuffle. Okay. Got the strength reverse, the seven of swords reverse, seven of cups reverse, five of swords reverse. You definitely want to feel like in the near future that you understand how a situation is, you don't want to hold back anymore. Okay, you don't want to, you feel like you can trust a person, you're not feeling like you're being lied to. I feel like there's not any, like, conflict here, there's not mental conflict with somebody. And there's something you finally are getting to an understanding of. Maybe something that took a lot of time to understand. What do you need, buddy? Brayden, what do you need? A Lunchable? Okay, one second. Maybe. Here, buddy. Sorry, guys. I'm going to finish your reading. Here. Okay, here. Okay, cancer. Let's see what's going on. Okay, so you got the strength reverse. Could we do a little Leo here? Just something that you don't want to be like holding back from anymore. With the judgment, 
and the Five of Cups reverse. So there's something you're not wanting to feel sorry for anymore. You feel like you've kind of learned your lesson in a situation in the near future. Okay, it could be a reconciliation with somebody here. It could be a Scorpio. Okay, but the lovers, you feel the strong connection with somebody in the near future. It could be a Gemini or someone you have a strong twin flame connection with. All right, Seven of Swords reversed. Okay, the Justice reverse and the Six of Swords. I feel like you know things aren't really working with you and this person or the sense of something here kind of feeling like it's not I'm fair. Not yes, yeah, feeling like it's yeah. almost like not yeah, fair in some way or things aren't balanced. Could be a Libra you're dealing with. And you guys want to get to the same page. Okay, you guys want to move on to the same page is what I'm seeing. You don't want to be deceived and lied to. You just want to be honest with each other. With the Ace of Cups, I do feel like a lot of love is coming in. Okay, Seven of Cups, Reverse, Cancer, let's see. Three of Swords, Reverse, and the King of Cups, Seven of Wands. I feel like you are fighting for somebody here that you truly have a lot of feelings for, a lot of love for, someone you can't let go of, okay? But I feel like you're wanting to let go of something to move on, but I feel like there is somebody you definitely love and you realize like how you feel for this person, okay? And I feel like you are fighting for this connection with this person here, okay? So, hope you all enjoy the reading. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe.